Welcome back everyone, we're going to be talking about none other than the OnePlus 8 Pro and comparing it to the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus. Now, if you guys don't know, the S20 Plus was pretty much that mid-tier model that we saw during the new S lineup, and I don't think anybody's really talked about the S20 Plus since it came out because it got overshadowed by the S20 Ultra. So really most people are talking about the S20 and the S20 Ultra, but regardless, we're going to be comparing both of these phones. Now the main thing we have to hit on would definitely probably be the price. The OnePlus 8 Pro is is the newer device yet it's still kind of costing cheaper than a brand new s20 plus so with the oneplus 8 pro i think it's costing 899 for the base model and then 999 for that top tier model where the samsung galaxy s20 plus is actually selling for about i think over a thousand dollars brand new but you can pick them up on amazon for less than 900 dollars which is really impressive so in some ways the s20 plus is actually cheaper than a oneplus 8 pro so those are really really huge things to keep in mind i will go ahead and leave both of these phones a link down in the description below if you want to buy them you can help support the channel at the same time that would be really awesome but looking on the front we'll go ahead and start off with the s20 plus we have a 6.7 inch dynamic amoled display it's a 1440p display and like i've said before i mean it's a really really good looking panel samsung just knows exactly how to make really nice looking panels and it's oled you know you have those deep blacks the viewing angles are awesome and when i was using my s20 plus it really felt like one of the best panels i've you've been using in a long time and one of the biggest advantages for the samsung galaxy s20 plus was that 120 hertz refresh rate on that oled display and that is a humongous thing and that's you know they didn't invent you know refresh rates or anything like that but that was a really big push in the oled department for having that 120 hertz refresh rate that was really really awesome and i think the screen itself looks really nice there's very little bezel around the whole entire display you have that hole punch display in the center and i think overall the screen and just those screen to body ratio and everything looks so good on a phone like the samsung galaxy s20 plus whereas on the oneplus 8 pro we have a 6.78 inch fluid amoled display this one is also a 1440p display and it also has a 120 hertz refresh rate which i've stated before is one of its biggest highlights and i literally love that about the oneplus 8 pro it is so awesome and when you're feeling the phone in the hand and everything and when you're scrolling through things it just adds so much more smoothness into the whole entire display which just you can't really get from really anywhere else and you also have that hole punch display like i stated you have a little bit of bezel at the top and bottom and to me it seems like it's a little bit bigger than the s20 pluses but it's still really not that big of a deal i just find it kind of funny that the hole punch displays are you know on the left side on the a pro but then on the center of the s20 plus so it really just depends which one you prefer but really to me it's really not that big of a deal i think both phones look really really good and i don't really think one display looks crazy better than the other one me personally i might end up just siding with the s20 plus because i feel like samsung just knows how to make their oled display so great but i still think the oneplus a pro has a really really good display too so i don't really think one blows the other one out of the water but maybe the s20 plus is a little bit better and on the back you have quadruple camera setups on both glass backs on both as well the oneplus a pro does have this matte texture on the back so kind of keep that in mind it's kind of more in line with the 11 pro and 11 pro max where the samsung galaxy s20 plus has that standard glass back kind of the things we've seen on the iphone 11 and phones like that and i think between both of them maybe the oneplus a pro actually feels a little bit more premium when it comes down to it i really really do like that matte texture now at first i kind of didn't like it because i kind of felt a little weird but now that i'm so used to it like on my iphone 11 pro i kind of really don't want to go away from it which is really weird so i think in terms of the build quality maybe the oneplus a pro feels a little bit more premium but the s20 plus like i said still feels extremely extremely good as well and they both have ip certification as well but there's a little bit of a difference on the oneplus a pro so the s20 plus has ip68 dust and water resistance on all the models so you can pick up an s20 plus from verizon or unlocked or whatever and it's going to have ip certification which is really cool but on the oneplus a pro apparently all models except the unlocked models have ip certification which is so insane i don't know why they did that so basically if you pick up the oneplus a pro from an unlocked carrier you're not pretty much going to be having ip certification on it which is insane and i don't know why they did that it seems like such a backwards thing but it is what it is there's really nothing we can do about it so when it comes down to the ip certification i would probably end up saying the s20 plus wins another huge thing for the s20 plus you have that micro sd card slot which is humongous that's one of my favorite things ever and honestly 
that's something that, you know, hopefully Samsung doesn't take away. That's one of its biggest selling points. So what I can tell you is in terms of the, like the overall build quality and the features and everything in terms of the hardware, I would probably end up siding with the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus. Even though the OnePlus 8 Pro feels a little bit better in the hand, I still think the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus is probably the better one when it comes down to it. So in terms of the outside, that really pretty much covers it. Now hating on the software, this is where things get a little bit interesting. So they're both starting off with Android 10 and they're both getting one UI 2 on the S20 Plus and Oxygen OS 10 on the OnePlus 8 Pro. And when it comes down to it, I mean, most probably the OnePlus is going to outlast the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus. So, you know, the S10, I'll give you an example. In the OnePlus 7 Pro, the phones that came out last year, the S10 is on Android 10 right now. And it's going to probably end with Android 11, which is pretty sad since it started with Android Pie. The OnePlus 7 Pro, however, is already getting Android 10. It's going to get Android 11 and most probably Android 12 as well. So it's going to be lasting for quite a bit of time. And the OnePlus 8 Pro will theoretically last an extra year above the S20 Plus. So if software updates are a huge deal to you, that is something to consider. I'm not going to sit here and say, you know, it's the worst thing in the world. But as of right now, both phones are still supported, which is really awesome. But in terms of the software themselves, I'm not really a humongous fan of One UI 2. I think it's a step up from TouchWiz and Samsung experience. I still think they have a long ways to go. I've said this a billion times before. Auction OS, on the other hand, is probably one of my favorite softwares out there when it comes down to Android. And I've said in a lot of ways, I think it's in some ways it's better than stock Android. And I think it's a great piece of software. And when it comes down to both of these, I'd rather pick up a phone with Auction OS than a phone with One UI 2, to be honest. So in terms of software, the OnePlus 8 Pro will definitely win, in my opinion. Now, hitting on the performance, they both have the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 chipsets, both have octa-core CPUs, Adreno 650 GPUs. There's a little bit of difference when it comes down to RAM, though. So the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus, that base model, has 8 gigs of RAM, where the OnePlus 8 Pro has the base model with 8 gigs of RAM, but then that top tier model with 12 gigs of RAM. So you kind of really have to keep in mind like which one would you prefer. If you're getting the base models of both, then it doesn't really matter. But if you're getting that top tier model of the OnePlus 8 Pro, then you are getting that additional RAM, which is really cool. Now, another thing, like I stated, base model of the S20 Plus still has that micro SD card slot, so memory really won't be that big of a deal. Whereas on the OnePlus 8 Pro, it kind of will be because it doesn't have expandable storage. That's something I've already hit on. But when it comes down to the performance, man, performance performance on both these phones is extremely good and there's really not one phone that blows the other one out of the water in my opinion one thing though with you know loading apps and everything and i've tested both these phones thoroughly is that on the samsung galaxy side you know with the s20 and s20 plus when you click on it out the pretty big app let's say like real racing 3 or something it seems to me that it stutters a little bit more than when you open it up on the oneplus 8 pro that's kind of a minor thing it really doesn't affect the performance but that's something that's like a visual type of glitch that i see on the s20 plus but really that's the main thing that i see other than that both phones are extremely great performing phone and i don't think you would upgrade from a oneplus saber to the s20 plus or vice versa just based off the performance i think they're both great performing phones i think the smoother experience though might go to the oneplus 8 pro i just feel like it's just a little bit smoother when it comes down to it i even compared the oneplus 8 and the s20 and i said the same thing i feel like the s20 is a very good phone but i feel like the oneplus 8 is a smoother phone and i feel like the same exact case here using both of these phones extensively i'd probably end up saying the oneplus 8 pro is smoother but the samsung galaxy s20 and the OnePlus 8 Pro is still extremely fast when it comes down to it. So other than the smoothness, they're almost identical when it comes down to the performance. So like I said, I don't think you're going to be picking one of these phones off just based off the performance because they're almost exactly the same when it comes down to it. So in terms of that, that really pretty much covers it. Now hitting on the cameras, you have quadruple camera setups on both. Like I stated on the S20 Plus, you have a 12 megapixel wide angle lens, 64 megapixel telephoto lens, 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor, and then a 0.3 megapixel depth sensor. Where on the OnePlus 8 Pro, we have a 48 megapixel wide angle lens, 8 megapixel telephoto lens, 48 megapixel ultra wide sensor, and then a 5 megapixel depth sensor. And you can do 4K60, which is really cool on both, but you have the ability of shooting 8K videos on the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus, which is insane. And I really don't think anybody's going to be doing it, but that's a really cool feature that we have. And honestly, when it comes down to it, the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus definitely has a better camera. There's really no point in even, you know, bringing this out even further. I feel like features wise, they both kind of have the same features 
features, but you do have a better camera setup on the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus than the OnePlus 8 Pro, in my opinion. You know, if you still have the OnePlus 8 Pro, it's still a pretty decent camera, but the S20 Plus, in my opinion, is far more superior. So on the front, 16 megapixel sensor on the OnePlus 8 Pro, 10 megapixel sensor on the S20 Plus. You can do 4K at 60 on the S20 Plus, but only 1080p on the OnePlus 8 Pro, so that pretty much covers that. I mean, the, the S20 Plus is the better camera for sure. Now, when you get off with the battery life, we have a 45 million power battery on the S20 Plus, but a 45 10 million power battery on the OnePlus 8 Pro. And honestly, when it comes down to it, they both have a reverse wireless charging, they both have wireless charging, which is really cool, but I would probably end up saying the OnePlus 8 Pro might have the better battery life, in my opinion, just because of the software inside. You know, the S20 has One UI 2, and it's still kind of a little bulky when it comes down to it, a lot of background processes. So I'd probably end up setting with the OnePlus 8 Pro having the better battery life by a little bit, but they're going to be very, very close when it comes down to it. So to kind of sum up this video and answer the question, should you pick up the OnePlus 8 Pro? Should you pick up the S20 Plus? In my opinion, if I had to pick up one of these, I would probably end up picking up an S20 Plus and putting some type of stock launcher on it, like Nova launcher or something to make it feel a little bit more, you know, more like stock Android. But I still feel like the OnePlus 8 Pro is still an insanely good phone and I think it has a lot of value in it too. And honestly, this is tough because now I'm kind of saying that I kind of want the OnePlus 8 Pro to be honest, but I think both phones are great. There's really no right or wrong answer. The OnePlus 8 Pro will probably last you longer in terms of software. But I feel like the S20 Plus is just the better phone overall and just a really good phone every which way you look at it. So I guess that really pretty much covers it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those things are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys would check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.